week and a half away from the total solar eclipse. And not only are a lot of people expected here, cell phone service will likely get pushed to the limit. You'd expect that, right? News Channel Line's Ashley Cafaro tells us what some carriers are expecting and how they're preparing for the big day. Could the uptick in eclipse visitors put a strain on cell phone service? It's a thought that's crossed many people's minds. Uh, the short answer is no. We don't expect any sort of impact from the 2024 solar eclipse to have any impact on the operation of our network. But what about areas where there's a lot of people? Still no. Verizon says its customers shouldn't be worried. We're confident that the additional capacity that we've layered into the network over the last few years will accommodate any increases in data usage. And the same goes for AT&T customers, with the provider adding a lot has changed since the last eclipse in 2017, switching from 4G to 5G technology. 4G technology um, could handle thousands of simultaneous calls, whereas 5G, and more importantly, mid-band, as we call it, 5G technology, can handle millions of calls. With no issues expected on April 8th. Eclipse or, or not, we uh, monitor network performance 24-7. Um, and um, so our engineering staff, network staff are always on top of that. And Verizon says there are ways to capture the historic event safely on your cell, starting with the type of phone you have. Uh, ones that have an optical zoom will work best for this. Um, second of all, turn off the flash, uh, the moon and the sun in front of it. You got plenty of light. Nature is providing all the light you need for that one. And the best way to capture the eclipse's diamond ring? Use burst mode. And most importantly, keep your solar eclipse glasses on. Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9.